That's it. It looks like a fishing rod. Maybe it could come in handy. That's it. It looks like a fishing rod with a carrot as bait. I have an idea to get that donkey moving. Really? Explain away then, dude. A fishing rod with a carrot. Interesting. You know, that could just work. It works! Sheer brilliance, dude! Here we are, dude! That guy over there is Bellerophon! I don't know how to thank you. Well dude, give me this carrot fishing rod and we're even. With this I can finally keep this damn donkey plodding along. Of course, it's all yours. Thanks dude, good luck. A huge boulder. I don't see anything special about it. A boulder. I don't see anything special about it. Mount Olympus stands in all its grandeur. I can't see any trails, only seemingly unscalable cliffs. The legendary Greek hero Bellerophon. If I had been asked to imagine a Greek hero, this is exactly what I would have come up with. Good day. Good day, stranger. I know that you have a magical golden bridle. How do you know that? Only the goddess Athena and I know that. Well, I heard it from a, a wizard. A wizard? Are you trying to make fun of me? Of course not. I know this all sounds crazy, but... Get straight to the point, stranger. What do you want? I need your golden bridle. I'll return it post-haste. No way! Absolutely not! Please, it's a matter of life and death. Stop asking! I need it myself! I promised the people of this land that I'd kill the Chimera. And to do that, I need the bridle. I have a plan, but it would take too long to explain. The answer is no! Damn it! Tell me about the Chimera. The Chimera is a terrifying monster that spits fire from its mouth. It has the head of a lion, a goat's head arising from its back, and a tail tipped with a snake's head. No one has ever survived a close encounter with the monster. But I vowed to kill it. And I assure you that nothing ever stands in the way of Bellerophon. Judging from the description, it sounds like something from a science fiction movie. Science what? Uh, never mind. It's a long story. You said you have a plan to kill the Chimera. Why do you need the Golden Bridle? Well, seeing as you know of the Golden Bridle, I have no reason to keep my plan secret. I thought it up together with the Goddess Athena. This is the plan. I climb Mount Olympus. I get inside the stables of Zeus. And I steal the divine Pegasus, the winged steed. And, riding Pegasus armed with a bronze spear, I kill the Chimera, diving down on it from the sky! Obviously, I need the Golden Bridle to tame Pegasus. Without it, this would all be impossible. Ah, well, then when you're done, you can give me the bridle. So, how long do you think this might take? Unfortunately, 
I'm stuck in the very first stage of the plan. Climbing Mount Olympus. Why are you stuck? It's completely impossible to climb this damn mountain! I've been trying for hours! I get up a ways, but then I get stuck. The mountain wall becomes practically vertical! There are no handholds! The only way to get up there would be to fly up. But for that, you'd need Pegasus. <laughs> Very funny. Okay, listen, stranger. You want my bridle, and I can't give it to you until after I steal Pegasus. Help me find a way to climb Olympus, and, once I have defeated the Chimera, I'll give you the bridle. Agreed? Agreed. So, um, what can I come up with? Can I help you? I talked to Bellerophon and I asked him for the golden bridle. He'll only give me the bridle if I help him climb Mount Olympus. It's not easy to climb Mount Olympus, my dear Alfred. There's no way you can scale the mountain with your bare hands alone. You can but fly to its top. Fly? Is that what you just said? Exactly. Read the book Around the World in 80 Days. Look for Mr. Phileas Fogg and ask him to tell you how to build a hot air balloon. It will easily take you to the top of Mount Olympus. Are you sure this is a good idea? I am, Alfred. Trust me. Go now. Waste no time. Bear my words in mind. I'm sure they will help you. I have no further questions for you. I'll get back to my mission. Go now. Waste no time. Oblivion is already on the move. You must stop him before it's too late. powder has spread to the book. I'm afraid of what might happen if I touch it. Oh no! I'm afraid I'm too late! The wasteland all around me must be caused by oblivion. The sign of what must have been a shop once. Touching that sign would be pointless. Fogg's house. This must be where Mr. Phileas Fogg lives. A strange black substance. It must have to do with oblivion. That shop looks like it's been abandoned. I doubt it might store anything interesting. I'd rather not touch it. I don't know what that strange substance could be. Judging from what the inscription says, it must be Mr. Phileas Fogg's house. Hello, how can I help you? Are you Mr. Phileas Fogg? I'm not. I'm Passepartout, Mr. Fogg's valet. Can I speak to Mr. Fogg? Mr. Fogg is not in the mood for talk. But it's really important. It's a matter of life and death. Mr. Fogg is not in the mood for talking. How weird. He looks like he's been hypnotized.
Hello, how can I help you? Can I speak to Mr. Fogg? Mr. Fogg is not in the mood for talking. I insist. I can't go back home. Not before speaking with Mr. Fogg. You are unbearably pushy. Please, wait a second. Hello, how can I help you? My name is Alfred Walsh. I'm so honored to meet you, Mr. Fogg. I'm standing before the man who circumnavigated the Earth in only 80 days. I've never embarked on that trip, Mr. Whoosh. Are you serious? I've never circumnavigated the Earth. I wagered 20,000 pounds I would with my friends over at the Reform Club. But I've never even left London. Why on Earth not? I don't know. Suddenly, I lost interest in mono, traveling, and human progress. Hmm? This must be Oblivion's fault. You might not have traveled around the whole world, but you're still an expert in means of transport. Uh, I lost interest in those, too. I understand. Nevertheless, I need your help. Help me build a hot air balloon. No! I'm not going to help you. I used to be selfless, but now I can't even remember what that means. Go away. I can't bear talking to you anymore. How weird. He looks like he's been hypnotized. This must be Oblivion's fault. Once again, I think I need to ask Merlin for his wise insight. Can I help you? I talked to Mr. Phileas Fogg, but he's not willing to help. He's been acting weird. What do you mean? Is he pale, like a corpse? Does he look hypnotized? Yes. Sadly, we are too late. The tale is damaged for good. Oblivion pushed the book to the point of no return. We must find another way to reach the top of Mount Olympus. Let me think this over. Do you know the fairy tale of Jack? Jack and the Beanstalk. Of course I do. When I was a child, it was my favorite one. Hey, wait a second. Are you trying to tell me to... Exactly. Read the book Jack and the Beanstalk. Find Jack and ask him for some of his prodigious beans. You'll just have to plant them at the foot of Mount Olympus. A huge beanstalk will grow. It will be higher than the mountain itself. It should be easy for you to climb the beanstalk, just as Jack did to reach the house of the giant. Go now! Waste no time! Bear my words in mind. I'm sure they will help you. I have no further questions for you. I'll get back to my mission. Go now! Waste no time! Oblivion is already on the move. You must stop him before it's too late.
That is definitely the most gigantic beanstalk I ever saw. A pleasant little cottage. It's probably Jack's home. Who are you? Uh, hello. My name's Alfred. I'm looking for a boy. His name is Jack. My son is named Jack. Why are you looking for him? Did he pull another prank? Oh no, not at all. Take it easy. I'm looking for him because I need his help. I'm sorry, Jack is not at home. I don't know where that brat is. I only hope he didn't climb that abnormal tree that grew up over there, near the fence. If he doesn't quit pulling all these pranks, the brat will kill me from heartbreak. Don't worry, I'm sure he's playing around here somewhere. I'm going to look for him somewhere around here. Thank you. I have a bad feeling that Jack is not playing around here somewhere. I think he climbed that giant beanstalk. Okay, chin up, Alfred. If I remember the tale of Jack properly, that should be the home of the giant. Okay, chin up, Alfred. A hole in the door. Considering my current size, it's probably big enough to get inside through. That is definitely the most gigantic door I ever saw. That is definitely the most gigantic ball of wool I ever saw. What was that? Oh my god, a gigantic cat! After surviving a jaguar, I wouldn't want to end up getting eaten by a cat. Stay cool, kitty. Hey you! Come in here quick! Who are you? How did you get up here? My name's Alfred. I got up here by climbing a gigantic beanstalk. Just out of curiosity, are you Jack? Yeah, I'm Jack. Oh, thank you, God. If my mother sent you after me, you can bet your britches I'm not going back home. No, no, don't worry. I was looking for you because I need your help. Shoot. I need some of your magic beans. I need them to get up to a very high place. Hmm. I could give you some. But only if you help me with something first. Why is no one willing to make an altruistic gesture without asking for something in return? In my case, because I'm a child. All right, forgiven. How can I help you? Let me explain. I've been casing this house for days. I've studied the logistics carefully. A giant lives inside this house. A rich giant. A very rich one. And you know why he's so rich? I can guess. It sounds like a fairy tale I used to listen to when I was a child. He's so rich, because he has a goose that lays golden eggs. I saw it with my own eyes. Okay, Jack, let's be frank. If you're asking me to help you steal that goose, then the answer is no. Don't be ridiculous, man. The goose is gigantic, just like that cat out there. We can't carry a gigantic goose. On the other hand, we can carry the golden eggs. I saw where the giant keeps them. Jack, trust me, I know the story. I know how this ends. It's dangerous. 
the giant will smell our blood and he'll start saying fee fi fo fum something and he'll chase us and don't be ridiculous man i told you already i cased the joint the giant and his wife are not home they won't be back until tonight we have plenty of time we only have to get rid of that damn cat jack no if you won't help me i'm not giving you the beans all right where do we start Let's start by getting rid of that damn cat. Think of a way to get it away from the door. A gigantic cat. I'd rather stay away from it. I'd like to buy something. Something? What exactly? Hmm, I don't know. What are you selling? Apart from tomatoes, I have so many things. Vegetables, potatoes, corn, peppers, zucchini. I also have a rare chili pepper that comes directly from the Valley of Death. It's the hottest chili on Earth. It's no coincidence that it grows only in the Valley of Death. Here, let me show you. This is the only one left. It costs a lot, but it is well worth it. Is it really all that hot? That hot? Hey man, this chili is hotter than the flames of hell, and you must be careful not to use too much. Many have overdosed and died. Perfect. I'll take it. It's 120 golden Geminis. Unfortunately, I have no money. Can I give you something in its place? That might be doable, but you'll have to offer something of equal value. Okay, I'll think about it. Would you give me your chili peppers from the Valley of Death in exchange for these? Tomatoes. How did you come by them? Tomatoes are virtually impossible to find. They are worth their weight in gold. Of course I'll do the deal. Those tomatoes are worth at least twice as much as my chili peppers. Very good. Here are your chili peppers. And be careful, they are hellish. Use in moderation. Thank you. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. Hey, Kitty! Wow! You 
did it! You're the man, dude! Just look at that damn cat run! What are we waiting for? Let's get in there! No, wait, Jack. It could be dangerous. Damn it. Jack, I helped you get rid of the cat. How about giving me some of your magic beans? Hey, dude, that was not the deal! You must help me steal the golden eggs, and then you can have some magic beans. All right, where are the golden eggs? They're inside that chest. All right, I'll help you. I'll have to come up with something brilliant to get me up on that table. An ordinary table. Nothing special, apart from the fact that it's gigantic. Some well-seasoned wood. I guess they're used to stoke a fireplace. And I can only imagine the size of the fireplace. I can't pick it up. It would be too big for my pockets. The drawer of a gigantic cupboard. I doubt I can open it. Some fishing boots. I shudder to think about the stature of the owner. I'd rather not touch them. A gigantic fishing rod. I can only imagine the size of a fish caught with that. I can't pick it up. It would be too big for my pockets. Disgusting black substance is jumping to other books. It's caused by oblivion. I must stop him before it's too late. <laughs> 